Ah, welcome back everyone to another episode of the Scandinavian Empire, guys. So, anyways, we're back here in this game where I am doing many things, one of which is I am trying to invade the Livonian Order. Because right now the Livonian Order has basically been turned, the entire alliance against me has been turned against them. And so it's, it's a good time to go attack, and since no one hates me right now, which is really, really nice, no one hates me. Like, only Novgorod and the Cherokee hate me right now, but... I don't know if you guys know this, but that's a pretty weak alliance, considering not only is the uh, UK, UK's army could easily destroy Novgorod, but also the Cherokee, well, they're the Cherokee, and I'm, I'm sorry, but in any case or any scenario, I would easily whoop their butts. <laughs> in fact, if I really wanted to, we could probably take over the Cherokee right now. But anyways, as you guys know, we were doing some colonizational efforts in the Golden Coast. It isn't exactly going well. Because I think I'm, prob I'm probably going to have to go actually send a real legit army to go, you know, deal with that. So, let's see. How close are we to building up a new fleet after our previous fleet got destroyed? We have eight transports right here. That's a good start. We have two barks right here, which I'm actually going to go send one of these barks to actually go explore. Because what I want to do over here is I want to go... um. I actually want to go all the way around to the other side of the coast because I think it's almost about, well, right about here. I want to go right about here. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going all the way down here. No, there's nothing down here. So I want to go right about here. And the reason why is because I really want to get this modifier right here. Plus 20%. Gosh, it's such a good modifier. And, um, yeah, I really would like that modifier. And specifically, I really want to get to right here and conquer this region specifically so that we can have this and then... We basically get this entire trade node and get plus 20% local modifier, which will give us insane amounts. So, I could also just conquer one of these places if I really wanted to. I mean, so superiority. Wait, I don't have a show superiority to this? Really? Huh. They are pay- Oh, no, they're Islamic. Wow. That's a difference right there. I thought they were pagan. Ah, oh, man. I feel like I have- Now I feel like I have to read up on my history. But anyways, let's continue. Oh, and I probably should stop this for a second. Okay, I didn't... Okay, I did not mean to do that and stop the battle right when we had some type of friction. So let's see, what's happening here? Oh, we have rebels. Yeah, that usually happens. And we have new technologies or new ideas. Um, we're on 11 right now. I don't want to do that. And I technically don't want to do any more coin for a little bit because I really... Really, 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 really want to get back to our Ministry of Tech. Because our Ministry of Tech is doing terrible right now. I mean, just terrible. We are having difficulty catching up to all these other great powers, which is not a good sign. Uh, Suffragac, I'm still <laughs> I'm still having to go to Congress as uh, Espinoza, which is not a bad thing. But, hmm. You know, are we ready for attacking? You know, take Novgorod or take Dubat. Uh, Dubot would be a little bit better. Could we be ready now? Would my alliances join? No. Never mind. They would all say no to that idea. So I guess not. I would not join that because I'd have to deal with a lot. And do I want an embassy? No, I don't. Do I want this? Well, let me make sure in all my new colonies that I have one. Oh, I never got one in Ericsson? Really? Okay, well, let's finish off the rest of those colonies and yeah, there we go. Yeah, I didn't know we didn't even have one in our original colony. Wow! That makes me feel kind of bad. I mean, our original colony had been unprotected this entire time. We just kind of... I feel like we just kind of ignored it. And I just realized we gained more core provinces. That means... Let's see, what's the next one? The core. Manage over extension. We have no over extension right now. Oh my goodness, that is nice. Oh gosh. And these guys are converting quite quickly. Um, not as quickly as I would I would like, just because we don't have the double modifier anymore, but I honestly don't want to be Defender of the Faith. <laughs> it's costing me too much time and money. Um, let's see, what is this? Uh, 360 administrative power. Yeah, no. I'm keeping my administrative power. <laughs> Alright, you guys all group up except for... Uh, actually, you guys, you guys protect my trade in the Baltic Sea. My Baltic Sea, I'm trying to get the best. You guys, 
Uh, you guys could probably split up. You guys are a little bit too many in one place. Uh, we could probably send you guys over here. There we go. Yeah, because it's a little it's a little bit too many people in one place. Okay, conversion successful. Send it to the next Indian place. Yay! Or Native American. Sorry, it's Native Americans. Okay. And I'm having just a little bit of lag. I'm just gonna stop for a second. There we go. Alright, yeah, it seems like as the game gets older, it gets a little bit more laggy. Kinda stinks, and it seems like we're building up our ships. It should be enough ships right about there, I think. Let's see. Uh, 14, 14 of these guys, yep, flights, we have enough of these, okay. We're gonna go send them now to the New World to go pick up our Colonial Army, and then we're gonna go drop them off at our, at the Golden Coast, and go kill all the natives that potentially will probably revolt, and so I have to go kill them again. And we'll basically use this as a, uh, launching point to other things, like global colonization. I, I don't know. We'll use it for something, people. We'll use it for something. And yeah, I actually, no, I'm just joking, people. I do remember why we, why we're doing that. We want to use that so that we can steal other people's gold. But uh, fortress in despair. or lose ten militaristic condition. Let's see, what's a militaristic condition at? Uh, let's see. Decay. Uh, morale of armies. Well, we have a lot of modifiers going for us right now with plus fifty percent bonuses. So I think that'd be good. Colony damage, Trinidad, oh no! Oh gosh, these Caribbean... Okay, so also drop by the Caribbeans too, because apparently they're also being pretty, like, aggressive themselves, so... Because I want I want just one island in the, in the Caribbean. Besides these two island... Oh. Ignore these two islands, guys! I want an island in the Caribbean. That's called Trinidad. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Alright, we got another conversion place successful. Let's see. New technologies. Just keep just keep that tech coming, guys. Just keep that tech coming. We have to keep converting and doing all that kind of stuff. Now we got more of these. Um you guys can now I can wait. You guys are getting cored. Yeah, now we can start converting the culture here. Yeah, we're almost done. Like, wow, these guys were pretty easy to assimilate into our like empire. And yes, we are technically officially an empire, since now we have a uh, different cultures and different people around us. And you guys, really, I have 13k men right next to you. That wasn't a smart idea by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, and so now we get right here, get our ships out, get, get our boats out, and we're gonna go drop by Trinidad, go destroy whatever, uh... Rebels may stop by there, and then we go all the way. Rush of the colonies! So, let's get this. Colonial enthusiasm. The more people we have in one place, the more time it doesn't take. So, let me just see here. Trinidad, uh, we have to wait for 45 days. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, I don't, yeah, there's not really anything else happening in our colonies right now. So, okay, there we go. So, now that we did all this, guys land. Okay. And I'm sorry guys, but you guys forced me to do this. I didn't want to kill you, but you guys forced me to do this. Alright, now get out. Okay. And you guys get on. And now we're going to go to Africa. Yes, the only place in Africa we actually have a colony, but we will go there. Okay. And get on the boats, because I've already given them, I already, you guys have always seen it, I've already gave them a chance. To not destroy themselves, but they want to purposely destroy themselves, so I will have to go and deal with it. More conversions! Yes! Alright, this is the last place that was needed conversion, and then we are done. And let's see, where was that place? Right here, Creek. Let's start converting the culture to me. Let's convert the culture to me. Okay, and there we go! Yeah, we're almost done there. Alright, let's send our let's send our ships all the way down here. They're going through kind of hostile waters for us. Agriculture revolution! 30 manpower or national modifier or two base. I don't really need the money right now, so manpower modifier would be pretty nice. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh man, gosh, our manpower now is like insane. Okay, go right here. And just to make sure that we are funding our men, because we really do need to fund our men. There we go. And I'm sorry, 
to the Native American, the Native Africans that lived here. But it's much easier when you guys just work together with me. I mean, honestly, it really is. So yeah, that's gonna be our. We now have our base officially established here, and now I'm gonna go send these guys back home. And there we go, guys. That was the entire extent of my colonial adventure. All right, and we have more transports here. We're gonna go send them. Well, except for this guy. You are still protecting the trade. And speaking of which, I should also build some more trade ships. I mean, we are, you know, three. I'll just build six in total. And what I'll do is have them, like, start going to other, like, um, trade nodes. Right, you guys go right there. Get in. Combine. There we go. That's our other little tiny fleet inside the Baltic Sea, everyone. Worship it as if it was the mightiest thing in the world, which it is. Alright? And you guys, I so wanted to declare war on you, but why are my allies not joining in? Like, what's your reasoning? Okay. Let's see. Who are you allied with? Teutonic Order, Hodenstein, Bomberia, and Tunginia. Let's see. I know the Teutonic Order would probably not be much of a threat to me. Just because they'd probably be too far. Bavaria, from experience, I know they have a good amount of army men. In fact, they're allied with me. Yeah, they're allied with me. What the heck? <laughs> okay, and... Yeah, that'd probably sever all my connections with... Well, they're not voting for me anyways, because I'm still a heretic. So, hmm. Do I want to back... Well, these, they really would not... They really would not help. So that would not be a good ally for them. Um, Thurnia... I don't think, I think it's another little tiny state in here somewhere. Well, let's just leave it like this. Unless they have military access with Hodenstein, which Hodenstein would not be at war with me if we went to do this, right? Right? Yes. Oh, wait, Hodenstein is. Oh. So that means we would actually have to... Dang it. We have to actually send an army down there to go fight them. Okay, and we have an army right here. Okay, and if we have an army right there... That should be a good balancing. Because then we have an army right next to everything. My my king, Spain, declared war upon the enemy. Uh, my king, somebody else declared war. Oh, yeah, my kids. Sometimes it's important. Your ports are being blockaded by not very important people. Oh, gosh. That means I just have to work on that a little bit more. And let's see. How much money do we have? Oh, we have enough to spend some stuff. What do we want to spend on a canal? Local trade power. Well, we don't. Hmm. We don't really need it, but we can just start curving the trade power more towards us again. And there we go. Gonna move this army down here to kind of block up Hodenstein. Because they are going to annoy me by a lot. And conversion successful! Yay! And now we got all this. Oh gosh. And we have 3.9 to all people that are our religion, which is good. New advisory slot. Uh, let's just go morale of armies. So that's actually a pretty good one. And let's see. Would we want to change our our government type? Production efficiency? Like, what does it give us right now? National manpower, which is pretty good. And income from vassals plus 10%. Okay, or we could go over to administrative monarchy, which would... Cost us 100 ministry power, but would it be really that good? I'm actually, constitutional monarchy, prestige to gain manpower, increase to recover, yearly legitimacy, enlightened despotism, national malfire. Yeah, actually, these aren't. Well, except for that core creation thing, everything else doesn't really seem that important, so. Yeah, I, I think I might just keep with this whole uh, one king thing. It seems, it seems to be working out pretty well for us. So, yeah. And let's see. Uh, can we raise any more troops? Yes, we can. All right, for this army, then I'm going to raise. All right, I'm going to raise a. No, wait. I don't want to build more ships. Okay, I'm going to. No, not hire mercenaries. I'm going to build a cannon, a horseman, and a and a soldier. And right there, that should basically balance out that unit. Still, if it's still balanced. Ah, and then we can begin this. Our counselor has reported King, the province has been co the culture we desire, yes! Alright, now you are officially one of us. 
which is good because I was getting kind of sick of you guys not being one of us. And a conversion successful, and let me just see this, let's see what cultures we are now. Cultures, eh, we're still predominantly like Creek over here, and Iroquois, and Shawnee, and all these guys, but we're slowly, you, you can see we're slowly starting to get in there. Delaware, that's kind of cool. The Delaware colonies, that's, that's really kind of cool. <laughs> over here we have the Danish, Swedish, and Norwegian. Wait, are these just regions? Because I swear I destroyed... Oh, no, no, I didn't destroy the... The, uh, Swedish religion. Uh, Finnish... The Swedish... I didn't destroy the Norwegian, Danish, or the... Swedish religion, because they instantly came a part of my empire. Which was nice. Alright, let me just get all these people together. Okay. And sugar! Yay! Sugar! Yes, actually, sugar is a really good problem... Thing to own. Okay. So let's see, I have to really weigh my options here very, 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 very carefully. Do I want this war to continue? Teutonic Order, Bavaria, uh, Teutonic Order, Bavaria, and Tajik. Well, Bavaria is this, so they're basically destroyed. Thonia, I don't think would be much of a province, but let me see. Fine province of the... I'm pretty sure this is probably in this province right there, wherever that is. Yeah, there it is, Thurgia. Yeah, they're basically, seems like a two minor. Um, mm, they'd probably not be as, let's see, technologically I am still one of the best in the world. These guys are pretty much in there with me too, but um, I just have to destroy Hodenstein as quickly as possible. These guys are pretty much occupied right now. Bavaria is definitely not going to join in. They're basically swallowed up by Austria already. So, yes, I think it's a good idea we go to war with these guys and take Dupont. And I'm also going to be at war with Norway and, um, what was the other nation? Oh, yeah, the Cherokee. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, we got... We declare war on them. Um, low maintenance. Really? Are you kidding me? Oh gosh, if that you think that's low maintenance, and I wonder what you think is high maintenance. Okay, send our soldiers instantly in. You guys go right there. And we're just going to do a gigantic blitzkrieg. Or not blitzkrieg. I really gotta stop using that word because I think I use that out of context a lot. Um... Over here, the Cherokee, they want to be at war with me too, so we'll go fight them. Or no one will join in? Maybe? No, they all joined in. Gosh dang it. And strangely enough, they actually have the map they actually have a matching enough army. At least on paper. Teutonic Order, Hodenstein, Bavaria, and that. It seems like the coalition against me of the Cherokee did not want to go against me, which is good. It kind of makes me happy. So let's go quickly destroy these guys. And we're already set. These guys should reach there in a couple days, which means we'll have. Yep. That should win right there pretty dang harshly. We have a couple of cavalry on the side. We have a couple of these guys right here. They're going to catch. They're going to catch the Hodenstein troops. With their pants down, basically, because they have no morale. Oh, dear gosh, that was a terrible battle. Follow them, though. <laughs> Kill the rest of their men. Over here, we caught the Livonians with their, with their pants down, too. Uh, go down here. Um, we could actually detach a lot of our people here. Or we'll actually combine again. Leave enough for a siege, that's what I meant to say. There we go. We can leave a couple of our people here. Uh, slaves from the from the Gold Coast. Oh God, I don't want that. <laughs> Why? Why did you give me something I don't want? Wait, how much? What does it give me, anyways? Uh, still don't want them. <laughs> still don't want them. Why? Okay, let me see. Am I want the Cherokee? No. They definitely don't want to fight me. So that kind of stinks. Um, over here we have all of. All of the uh, armies of the Hodensteinians defeated, so we're just going to detach a seed right here, and then go right there, siege them down, and then we're going to go after Teutonic Order, I mean, 
yeah, this is this is just gonna be a massive defeat on their part. So let's see, we're destroying the rest of the Livonians troops. Livonian is trying to raise up an army, but it's not gonna work. We we, we all kind of figured that one out pretty quickly. All right, we detach a siege here. Go right here. And we're just gonna keep fighting. Yep. And go right there. And now we detach a siege right there. And go right there. And yep, that's how you win a war, guys. Absolutely. Wait, we lost a battle here. What? What? Huh? That? I'm, I'm confused. How did two soldiers just defeat? Oh gosh, I think this new system, guys, this new, like, I, I swear, this new system that they have for implemented is kind of stupid. Because I should have won that battle easily. Should not have been, like, a tie or anything, it just happened, so. How many did I have? Let's see. There's how many soldiers in here? 2k, 2k, and 1 cannon. So, one, one more cannon makes three. Okay, I need three Latin infantry. And then, no, one, two, three, four, four, five. There we go. That should be about a good average army. And all my soldiers just died. I just remember that I should not be trying to fight the sea yet. Uh, but yeah, Livon the Livonians are about to go demolished, and I'm gonna go destroy that army with a with a good destruction. Cause that just angers me right there. How? Oh, it's not the Livonians. That's why. Oh no, it's not the Hodensteinians. That's why I was losing. I was like, why the heck did I lose that battle? It wasn't them. It was the other guys. Okay, disagreeing advisor. He kind of has a point. Sure. Get 35 more prestige towards a lot of those things. That's a really good idea. Okay, let's get all you guys. You guys get into the battle quickly. Cause we have to go. Quickly go march. Fortification efforts. Yeah. See what I mean? I, I have a lot of those modifiers. So it's like. Yeah. Take 50% off. I still have a lot. Okay. And it seems like Hodenstein's actually been able to raise up a decent amount of soldiers. Um, any of the uh, Tectronic Order. Any of those guys trying to come and get me. Uh, doesn't look like it. Seems like I still have the majority of the battles over here. Oh yeah. And how does the scale look now? Yeah, it doesn't look as good anymore, does it? Okay, and my men are rapidly becoming more unified. I mean, we are we are coming down with a wrath. I mean, look at that. That looks quite scary. If I if I had an overall map and you see that, I think that looked quite scary. But anyways, guys, we are out of time for today. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.